Hi, and welcome to the Resources Roadhouse. I'm Wally Graham, and today I'm joined by Greg Miles, CEO at Caspin Resources. Now, um, Greg, since um, Caspin spun out of Cassini um, after the, the, the merger with Oz Minerals, um, Caspin's been in having quite a successful time. Uh, recently topped off with a fundraising, a successful fundraising of just under 10 mil to uh, uh, finance your uh, activities and operations. And so um, just give us an idea of um, where you're going to spend that and how you're going to spend it. Uh, yeah, thanks, Wally. Well, look, it's um, it was great to, to do that raise. Um, and so soon after, um, after our listing last year, I guess it's um, you know an indication of of how well things have, have gone for the company, um, particularly at our, our Yarrawinda Brook project. Um, so that that I guess what we've done since since listing is we've been uh, pretty aggressive with our exploration work um, to date at, at Yarrawinda, and we really kind of compressed our exploration schedule. Um, it, you know, probably eighteen months into nine months, and so um, this. This fundraise um, enables us to continue uh, that aggressive approach to Yarrawinda, which, you know, let's let's be honest that the the Western Yulgarn is is a really hot property at, at the moment. Um, you know, everybody's aware of the success that Chalice uh, Mining have had. Um, you know, so it's a it's a hot district. Um, it's a well, it's a new mineral province, and we're smack bang in the middle of it. And um, you know, our investors through overwhelming demand, want us to go out there and, and explore hard. So, uh, you know, this this capital raise gives us the uh, confidence to be able to, to go and do that and, and do some really interesting exploration things. Um, what sort of, I mean, what sort of drilling success have you had and um, where's, the, where's the needle of truth going to point next? So, um, we, we did our first drilling program at, at Yarrabrook, well, sorry, at XC29 Prospect and more importantly, Yarrabrook Hill um, early this year uh, through April and May. And um, just two diamond holes at, at Yarrabrook Hill, which was designed, I guess, as a, as a proof of concept. There had been some historical work, or well, there's been substantial sort of historical work at, at Yarrabrook Hill in the past, but it's been somewhat limited in terms of its effectiveness for for exploring for this new kind of PG style of mineralization that that Chalice have sort of discovered, um, and, and what so we, you know that those holes demonstrated we had the right rocks, we've got the right sort of sulfide mineralogy, um, and, and so that's now given us the the confidence to come in with a a, um, a more substantial drill program. So and as and we've announced to the market this morning that uh, that. Uh, program has commenced, so that's 5,000 metres of RC drilling, um, and, and it's, it's testing a range of targets, sort of stepping out from from our, our previous holes and um, trying to vector towards where the more PGE-rich um, zones might be within uh, this host intrusion. With you know, which is which is quite large. You know, we've got over two kilometres, probably three kilometres of strike to to test. Um, and, and we know so little about it. So it's a, it's a really exciting exploration um, project. And um, th th we're gonna learn a heap from this program and, um, and hopefully we uh, demonstrate that, that there's uh, substantial PG mineralization. I think it's pretty important to point out that you didn't exactly go out there blind either because um, it's a project that was always in the back pocket um, and then you decided to go out and uh, on on your own um, as Caspin to go out there. So you, you already knew the, the, the terrain pretty well. Yeah, uh, probably from a uh, conceptual targeting point of view, yeah. You know, we've been working out here for over three years now. So um, always liked the, the region from a conceptual point targeting point of point of view um, that that concept has been proven by chalice and um, you know now we're in this sort of rapid data acquisition phase so we're, we're kind of working on two fronts at the moment firstly um, you know honing in on, on Yarrabrook Hill which is you know the most advanced prospect where you know we've, we do have some encouragement um, but also trying to look at the whole project area at the same time and you know the you can't you can't just be focused on the most obvious things. Um, so we're we're collecting um, geophysics, so um, air, airborne EM, 
um, gravity survey just recently uh, and, and soil geochemistry. So, and then combining all these data sets together is um, a really powerful targeting tool there. And it's the first time this area's ever been looked at for these kind of um, commodities. So um, it's a great opportunity for discovery. Yeah, right. All right, so that, that's where you're nice and busy there. And, and you just sort of, um, you put your foot into Mount Squires to have a look over there or what sort of progress you're making there? Yeah, so Mount Squires, um, historically more of a gold uh, play. I, we've, we've completed a, a, a small first pass soil geochem program over part of the project area, um, which has given us some sort of interesting soil sort of signatures that are more, um, sign uh, more reminiscent of a, a porphyry, porphyry copper kind of um, signature. So that's, that's kind of interesting. Um, we'd love to get back out there as soon as we can. Um, there's, there's opportunities for, for more soil geochem or reconnaissance type drilling, geophysics, um, to try and expand on this area and actually get a better sense for what we've got. And, and of course, don't forget that Mount Squires project is right alongside uh, Oz Minerals West Musgrave project. So Nebo Babel, probably one of the largest nickel copper deposits in Australia. Um, you know, the Oz Minerals are in the middle of a, a DFS there. So we're cognizant of the fact that we we are a long strike and there is still sort of nickel copper um, magnetic opportunities there as well. So uh, we've got a few fronts that we want to work on at Mount Squires. So yeah, when the brook is sort of our immediate focus, and then we'll sort of um, keep dabbling away at Mount Squires at the same time, and hopefully we can demonstrate this uh, prospectivity there as well. All right, terrific. Well, Greg, that sounds like this guy. What was that, mate? A couple of irons in the fire. A couple of irons in the fire, yes. Yes, yeah, so to speak. Uh, well, yeah. Not only is it good to have a fire, it's good to have irons in there. So that's um, all, all well and good. So um, obviously, there's, you know, obviously there's news uh, starting to come out. And there'll be news flowing from the drilling that you've just uh, announced today. So hopefully uh, we, we might be able to catch up at Higgins and Dealers next week and uh, have a chat about that. But uh, until next time, Greg Miles, thanks for uh, popping into the Roadhouse again. And we look forward to seeing you back here very soon. Thanks, Wally. Good to talk to you.